we are on variables and this is the cool part as you recall if you've watched the tutorial 9 before this tutorial 10 you will have had a little bit of information on what a variable is a variable is simply a container that contains data it just is something that we can put some information into and then call it back whenever we need to rather than having to work with the same information all the time and typing it in from scratch so let's create a variable now called my name so here we have our on start block over there we go down to variables make a variable and we're going to call this my name click OK we now have created a container called my name so what are we going to do well we're going to set my name let's see set my name there it is there to zero now zero is not a very fun name to have although actually maybe it is but it's not for this program so what we're going to do is we're going to replace that zero with some text for someone's actual name and in order to do that we need text all right now we don't have a string block per se so we go down to the bottom in advanced it just says advanced it's not really advanced they're just other functions text that's what we need text so click on text and right at the top there there it is over there a little text block perfect so let's take that and put that in there instead voila so on start set my name to and well let's type in our name okay so whoops there's my name so when the program starts it sets the value of my name to the text Matthew all right cool and now what we're going to do is we're going to use a slightly different input we're going to use the on shake command on shake okay so that's input on shake so when we shake the micro bit it's going to say our name well not say it out loud it's going to display it okay on shake basic show string all right and now because we already have the variable which holds the data of our name already instead of us typing in our name now we just go to our variables we choose my name and we just pop it in there let's see what it does here you'll notice when you are using a shake command it puts a little shake option you can manually shake it with the mouse and it will run or you can click on shake as well and there you go on shake show string my name so call the data from my name and show it as a string perfect